Hey guys, what's up? Tamara here. Today I'm going to do a review of Elsewhere by Gabriel Zevin. This is a young adult fantasy slash general fiction slash I don't know title, but it's definitely young adult. Elsewhere is a very different take on the afterlife. What happens after we die? This story is about Liz, a 15 year old who dies and she goes to Elsewhere. And on her journey to Elsewhere, she meets a lot of different people, a lot of different characters. She has to deal with being without her family. She has to deal with, you know, in Elsewhere people age backwards. So she's never going to be an adult. They age they arrive at elsewhere and the clock begins backwards and in that point they return to infants and when they are infants they are shipped back to earth down a river or something like that down the ocean I don't know it's a very different take on the afterlife and this is a very young I guess um, feeling story I dare say this was almost borderline middle grade um, I did listen to this on audio and her voice, the narrator was good, but her voice was very childlike and you know you guys that takes me a minute to get used to and uh, I did get used to it and it was fine and you know while overall listening it to it on audio was fine, I think that helped me enjoy it a little more. In addition to listening to audio, I also switched back and forth between that and reading it. So at points I would be reading it in ebook, and other points I would be listening on audio. And I'm glad I did listen to the audio part because that really helped me, I guess, um, enjoy it a little bit more, I believe. You know, and like I said, to me the story was a bit juvenile. The story follows Liz from her death to her rebirth. So she arrives at 15 and we meet her grandmother that died when Liz was a baby. And at this point, her grandmother, I think is in her 30s. So she's aging backwards. She's in her early 30s or something like that. We meet, you know, there are, there's another little girl that comes along with her who was also killed as a child. And then we meet, you know, um, a, a famous rock star that he committed suicide but he's there as well he's an adult but you know they seem to befriend each other we meet another gentleman by the name of Owen who died as an adult he was a fireman but you know at the point where Liz meets him he is also around the age of 15 or 16 so there's a lot you know of different characters and it's really the story is told in a simplistic way where you really don't have to do too much thinking about you know what Liz thinks what Owen thinks what could be you know there's it's really laid out for you in a simplistic manner like really it's ABC this is what Liz is this is how she feels this is why she's mad and that's why I say it's kind of juvenile there's really not much for discussion of motives or why or trying to figure out a deeper meaning or purpose because it's all spelled out for you now that i didn't really like because it just felt too young for me now um from that you know i did like that it was a different take on afterlife you know it wasn't all angels and heart you know uh harps playing and you know you don't see it's just different. It's different from anything I've ever heard as far as afterlife type stories. Um, so that was good. It was very different and unique and I enjoyed that part. I also found it interesting that, you know, after you're in elsewhere, you're able to communicate back on earth, but only in a really unique, odd way. So and it's almost like you come across as a ghost. And it's really interesting. I'm not going to tell you how it is if you plan on reading this, but it's a very like all of these quirks are very different like yes you can communicate to people on earth but only after you go to these great lengths and it's really illegal for you to do it you shouldn't be doing it at all you can watch people on earth through telescopes you can watch your family have family events weddings birthdays you can watch people every day but some people get addicted and that's another different thing you can be addicted to watching your life your old life on earth watching your family your friends and things like that and some people do they sit there at those little telescope things and they watch day in day out all day long and then you get to do have a job it's not really called a job there I forget what they do call it but it's basically something you've always wanted to do so it's not like you're going to work you're just doing what you enjoy so you know if you like 
dogs or cats, guess what? You can be the person who takes care of dogs and cats and helps them and that is what Liz ends up doing. Same as like, you know, Owen or the gentleman who killed himself. You know, Owen was a fireman, but here he, you know, kind of watches the waters and he decides to be like a guard of the water or something like that. And, and the musician is now a fisherman. So I mean, it's really about in elsewhere doing what you always wanted, what you loved. So I liked it overall. We had this for my second book club. It was one of the books we talked about in the last month. It was an interesting conversation, but it wasn't a long conversation. And like I mentioned earlier, it just wasn't that long because there wasn't that much to dissect. Um, the story was very ABC and pretty much laid everything out for you. So I mean, while there were some things to discuss, other things, there just wasn't enough material to have a book discussion about, in my personal opinion. You know, so like I said, the world building was great. It was very interesting to see a different take on the afterlife, but the story was a little simplistic. So with that said, what would I rate Elsewhere by Gabriel Seven? I would rate it three out of five bookmarks. It was very interesting. I enjoyed it overall. Um, it was, I'm glad I decided to alternate between reading and listening. That helped me, I think, get through it a little faster and enjoy it more. Who would I recommend elsewhere for? I would definitely recommend it for the younger set. If you like to read younger feeling YA or even if you like to read middle grade, this might be more your pace. If you're just curious to see what a story about the afterlife could be, you might want to check this out. You know, it's not at all um, religious or spiritual. It's really more just kind of like another world you live in until you return to earth. It's really, it's just different. So if you like those kind of different type of stories, I recommend it for you. And if you sincerely just do not like young feeling stories, I would just veer away from this one. You probably won't like it. That's it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. And until then, happy reading. Bye guys.